Summary of the Myth of Sanity by Martha Stout Introduction Have you at any point been driving home from work and felt your brain float distant, thus far that you simply couldn't recollect how you even returned home? Or on the opposite hand, have you ever at any point been so engaged during a film that you simply felt as if you weren't too far away accessible the characters as against sitting on your love seat? On the off chance that both of those portrayals sound natural, you've encountered a minor occasion of dissociation. Dissociation is usually a component our cerebrums use to assist us adapt to genuinely overpowering circumstances and traumas. Be that because it may, it accompanies a catch, it's simple for us to become familiar with separating, with our cerebrums continually looking at and trying to not sincerely challenge circumstances. On the off chance that we'd like to start out to measure more sincerely and completely within the present, we should always defy the wonder of dissociation and comprehend why it creates in any case. A speedy admonition before we start, this rundown contains conversations of child misuse, trauma, and self-destruction. Lesson number one. Dissociation capacities as an endurance system, however, tend to be a two-sided deal. Picture this. It's a quiet, clear night, and you're in your vehicle heading range in the wake of completing an extreme exercise at the rec center. You're getting to undergo a green light at a bustling convergence once you see it. Somebody has run the red light and can pummel straightforwardly into the right side of your vehicle. You comprehend what is going to occur before it does, and abruptly, it looks like you're not, at now the individual at the guiding wheel. Truth be told, it appears as if you're not inside your own body by any means, like you're watching the mishap happen as against taking an interest in it. The expression for what you're encountering within the present circumstance is dissociation, and it's a typical and ordinary response to awful and profoundly unpleasant circumstances. At the purpose once we separate, our minds permit us to detach genuinely from a circumstance, so we will act smoothly and coolly rather than frenzy. Dissociation is verifiably valuable during horrible accidents. Notwithstanding, it'll generally have enduring effects that aren't helpful after the occasions are finished. During a circumstance where you've separated, your cerebrum has conceivably drawn an association between something horrendous and something which will appear to be favorable to each other person. What's more, that suggests you'll be thrown into a condition of separation at totally startling minutes. To outline this, consider a fantastic lady named Beverly, who's perusing a paper while trusting that a train will show up. She's so fascinated by the paper that the exposure train's boisterous sign makes Beverly hop in her seat. Out of nowhere, her heart is thrashing, she feels the longing to run, and she or he even notification and unexplained fragrance of chlorine. She doesn't have any acquaintance with it, yet Beverly's cerebrum has genuinely pushed her into a second in her youth when she watched her younger sister leap out into the road and be hit by an approaching vehicle within the wake of heading back home from the town pool. Because of Beverly's dissociative response, she may feel mysteriously drained, neurotic, or apprehensive for the rest of the day. Yet, that's only a minor dissociative response. Individuals who experience more outrageous traumas will likewise encounter significantly more extraordinary dissociative responses, as we'll learn within the following part. Lesson number two. Trauma disturbs the cerebrum's memory putting away cycles and causes dissociative responses. Trauma doesn't simply make enduring enthusiastic scars, it likewise dramatically affects the particular cerebrum, especially with regards to chemicals and territories of the mind identified with memory. Thus, we should always investigate how recollections get framed under ordinary conditions. Within the first place, your five faculties send data to the amygdala, the passionate handling focus of your mind. At that time, within the wake of evaluating the enthusiastic meaning of the info it gets, the amygdala gives its appraisal to the hippocampus, which sorts the info as per its passionate significance and incorporates it with different recollections. In overpowering enthusiastic or awful circumstances, however, this interaction separates. 
at the purpose when the amygdala enlists an event as having extraordinary passionate importance, the hippocampus can't conveniently coordinate the info or incorporate it with the rest of your recollections. This suggests that awful recollections frequently exist as confined tangible pictures or real sensations. What's more, these aren't the lone contrasts between awful, amygdala interceded recollections and normal ones. Amygdala interceded recollections might not be related to the mind's language preparing territories, which means we can't utilize language to work out those encounters. Additionally, these recollections are tons simpler for us to access than those that are adjusted by the hippocampus. To represent the negative impacts of this interesting memory production measure, we should always take a gander at one among the creator's patients, Julia. Julia was an exceptionally clever Stanford graduate who proceeded to make grant-winning narrative movies. However, no matter her prosperity, Julia had a weird issue, she was unable to recall any of her youth. She had no memory in the least of her instructor's names, her graduation, nor in any event, deciding the way to drive. The solitary striking memory she had of her youth was of her mom putting down her pet canine, Grin, when Julia was 12. Julia's immense memory holes were a result of her dim backstory, a youth loaded with abhorrences, including physical and sexual maltreatment by both of her folks. Youthful Julia had found out the way to head off to someplace else while she was being manhandled, intrinsically, she had separated. What's more, any time she was therein separated express, her recollections weren't recorded and arranged appropriately by her cerebrum. Lesson number three. Dissociative states can make an individual lose time or have out-of-body encounters. Julia had a dissociative problem with a couple of antagonistic impacts. One was that she often entered conditions of the fugue or flight, during a fugue, an individual's psyche can do mentally determined capacities like an awakening, getting to work, and in any event, having discussions, yet the piece of the mind that encounters feelings and recalls occasions isn't working needless to say. It was during these times of the fugue that Julia felt as if she lost time. On one event, she awakened on what she thought was a Tuesday yet was educated by an associate that it had been Friday. Unusually, nobody had seen her acting any diversely on the times within the middle, when she wasn't intellectually present. Julia's drawn-out conditions of fugue were depart when her mind gained a relationship between awful experiences and components of normal day-to-day -day existence. However, for a few individuals, fugue doesn't include losing such immense holes on schedule. Substantially more typical is demi-fugue which incorporates a quick sensation of detachment from reality rather than an all-out severance. Simply take it from another of the creator's patients, Lila, who portrays her condition of demi-fugue as her flyaway self. At a 7-Eleven store at some point, Lila had a contention with a clerk, whose scornful and deigning articulation helped her to recollect how her stepfather had taken a gander at her when she was a teenager. The experience pushes Lila into her flyaway self, where the planets seem to contract and switch bent be exceptionally little, as if she were taking a gander at things through some unacceptable finish of a telescope. The meaning of demi-fugue incorporates different sorts of out-of-body encounters too. Envision a faculty sophomore who's making a beeline for her folks' home for Thanksgiving weekend. Everything appears all good until her plane terrains. This is often the purpose at which she starts to feel incredibly drained and hefty like her body out of nowhere gauges plenty. The entire Thanksgiving weekend, she feels as if she isn't there by any means. That's because she's separated, presumably due to some youth trauma associated with her home. You may have seen that an outsized number of the dissociative people we've examined thus far are overcomers of youth trauma. Within the following part, we'll examine why that association exists. Lesson number four. Kids are substantially more powerless against trauma than grown-ups. Youngster misuse is shockingly present on the earth. In America, for instance, right around 5% of all youngsters are accounted for as casualties of misuse. 
Also, traditionalist assessments recommend that 38% of each American girl and 16% of Yank young men experience sexual maltreatment before the age of 18. Besides direct maltreatment, numerous youngsters additionally often witness used viciousness, almost like muggings and shootings, particularly in metropolitan conditions. Also, on a more worldwide scale, misfortune is ever-present, calamities influenced 3 billion individuals within the years somewhere within the range of 1967 and 1991. Most youngsters are still conventional, neither casualties of misuse nor observers thereto. Yet, remember that youngsters are exceptionally powerless against startling circumstances and are subsequently substantially more susceptible to be damaged than grown-ups. Horrendous circumstances are occasions that upset or abuse our current perspective, causing us to feel powerless and overpowered. Furthermore, because kids are such an excellent deal less experienced than grown-ups, their feeling of importance is profoundly susceptible to impact by genuinely overpowering circumstances. Envision a nine-year-old youngster called Matthew, whose guardians are never actually savage with one another however now and again have verbal contentions. In one event, Matthew discovers his mom within the kitchen after his dad has stomped out of the house. His mom is mumbling obscenities when she sees her child went into the space and says, Hi, posterity. Watch this. She opens her china cupboard and starts flinging plates against the divider, crushing them to bits. With each plate broken, she shouts that parasite. An appellation coordinated at her wife. During the whole occurrence, Matthew feels empty and numb. The subsequent day, he barely recollects that it by any stretch of the imagination. Presently, envision Matthew as a grown-up. At whatever point a discussion together with his spouse, companions, and partners helps him to recollect his folks' contentions, no matter whether the association isn't self-evident, Matthew scatters, getting a foreign, coated look in his eyes. As a grown-up, Matthew separates since his cerebrum was prepared to try to sew at whatever point his folks battled during his youth. He was rarely straightforwardly mishandled however, he was damaged by his folks' battles, which to him were completely startling. In its most outrageous cases, youth trauma can cause dissociative character problems, the condition once referred to as a special behavioral condition. We'll analyze that next. Lesson number 5. A dissociative character problem generally creates an endurance component for a mishandled youngster. A lot of what causes dissociative personality problems, or did for brief, is obscure. What clinicians are often sure of is that the matter perpetually happens in persistently mishandled youngsters as an endurance instrument. In circumstances of sadness, the body regularly surrenders and kicks the bucket, it essentially can't withstand extended extraordinary pressure. As far back as 1957, clinician C.P. Richter exhibited that mice set in circumstances of misery, where no battle or flight reaction was conceivable, frequently kicked the bucket of cardiovascular breakdown. Nonetheless, in contrast to mice, people are skilled with mental instruments that led us to effectively adapt to extraordinary pressure. Within the most radical cases, this will cause dissociative personality issue, a condition where an individual's psyche is split between various personalities or modifies with independent recollections and character attributes. For a constantly manhandled kid, separating can consider a kind of mental getaway. Each different modify can adapt independently to the maltreatment, compartmentalizing it and permitting the youngster to endure. It's just when the child develops into a grown-up and gets far away from his traumatic conditions that his condition begins to urge risky. A private with dissociative character problems may pass into one among his changes at any second, driving him to act peculiarly or improperly. Quite possibly the foremost outrageous instances of did the creator experienced was with a patient called Garrett. At the purpose when Garrett was a child, his traumatic uncle much of the time beat him, and his younger sibling, Lef, little questioned or envisioned offenses. 
What's more, realizing that Garrett was wildly defensive over his sibling, the uncle frequently beat left for things Garrett had done. At some point, the unimaginable occurred, Garrett's uncle clothed to be savage to such an extent that he kicked left to death while Garrett watched. Left was only six years aged. Garrett's life was perpetually changed. The rehashed misuse drove Garrett to create up a couple of unique personalities to compartmentalize the maltreatment he persevered. One character was called James, a touch fellow, who showed up solely when Garrett was separated from everyone else. Another was Gordon, a profane troublemaker who arose to make sure Garrett when he required it. There have been others still however, the haziest of everything was Abe, who was persuaded that it had been Garrett who had murdered Lef which he had the proper to bite the dust by self-destruction as a discipline. A few out of each odd instance of did include sensational switches between various characters. Typically, the progressions are more unpretentious, as we'll learn within the following part. Lesson number 6. Dissociative character issues can cause intense conduct switches. How well does one think you comprehend your dearest loved ones? Could you concoct a rundown of character attributes to portray them and be sensibly certain they were exact? You may be thinking, indeed, obviously, I could. But you'd presumably not be right. That's because the overwhelming majority aren't simply unbiased, easygoing onlookers of others, all things considered, they frequently intellectually contort realities or occasions with the top goal that their picture of individual remaining parts predictable over the end of the day. For example, if your accomplice seems, by all accounts, to be bleak and fractious one night, you're sure to ascribe this to an outdoor occasion than to coordinate the standard of darkness into your psychological profile them. Also, if this conduct surfaces routinely, you'll rename them instead of surly. In any case, you're not susceptible to consider that your accomplice could also be giving indications of dissociative personality issue, albeit which will be the difficulty. Short of what one hundredth of the American populace is perhaps getting to have the sort of dissociative character issue described by various named characters. Undeniably more normal are cases that include a kind of switch to a private that seems, by all accounts, to be the one we all know however who acts unrecognizably. Take the instance of Nathan, a partner of the creator. More often than not, Nathan was uncommonly affable, friendly, and warm. He and his wife had been hitched for a really while, and, as he would really like to think, he was a powerful dad to their two youngsters. Be that because it may, Nathan once during a while slipped by into some odd conduct. He would now then vanish for significant periods with no notice or clarification, no matter what earlier responsibilities he'd made to his family or companions. He additionally attended fly into attacks of desirous fury around his spouse. One second, he'd be acting like his typical self, yet at that time, abruptly, he'd develop miserable asking his spouse ceaseless inquiries about her past connections. Because of Nathan's peculiar conduct, his wife regularly felt like she didn't have any acquaintance together with her own spouse, and more terrible, that she didn't make any difference to him by any means. This is often a totally basic issue for people managing switches, they frequently desire their treading lightly, frightened of setting off that individual's generally alarming and distancing conduct. Lesson number 7. To conquer dissociative states, we need to assume liability and stand up to past traumas straightforwardly. We all experience dissociative states all directly or another, no matter whether they're just about as straightforward as scattering and wandering off in fantasy land on the drive to figure or as sensational as passing into an altogether unique persona. No matter where you fall on the range, is there any approach to conquer these dissociative states? The amazing recuperations of some of the creator's patients offer us a cheerful response there to question. Both Garrett and Julia, two of the patients we examined beforehand, looked straight at their most agonizing recollections and didn't withdraw. In the first place, review Garrett, whose modify inner self Abe was never getting to budge on persuading Garrett to finish his own life. 
During a couple of, of their treatment meetings, the creator entranced Garrett, permitting Abe to steer. Again and again, Abe replayed the memory of Leth's demise, an unimaginably agonizing encounter that Abe thought he was responsible. Finally, after a progression of entrancing meetings, Abe at long last realized that truth be told, he wasn't responsible for his siblings' passing. Two months after this acknowledgement, Abe vanished from Garrett's mind. It was a comparative story for Julia, the woman who'd been consistently manhandled by her folks. For her whole grown-up life, she held practically no recollections of her youth. In any case, with the help of spellbinding, she gradually began to recuperate her recollections and go up against them by returning to her old neighborhood in L.A. and even the seashore where she'd attempted to kill. These samples of overcoming adversity are motivational, and you would possibly be considering what you'll do if you speculate you're managing somebody with dissociative inclinations. Indeed, if that individual is brutal, the primary and neatest thing you'll do is eliminate yourself from the circumstance. Yet, just in case you're certain she's not susceptible to hurt you, the author recommends that you simply may plan to cajole out her genuine self after she's exchanged by asking something like, may I address Sarah when she's prepared to return. Next, you'll delicately propose treatment, albeit this is often probably not getting to work if she's reluctant to proceed. Did you like this audiobook summary? Click the like button now to support our channel and click subscribe if you want to get notified each time we post a new free audiobook summary on YouTube.